Samsung just did something no one saw coming. They didn't just announce a new chip, they announced the world's first 2 nanometer smartphone processor, and the performance numbers are absolutely insane. But there's one feature buried in this announcement that could finally end Samsung's biggest nightmare. Smash that like button right now, share this with every Android user you know, and subscribe because what I'm about to show you will change how you think about smartphone chips forever. Before we dive into the specs, let me ask you something. Would you trust a Samsung Exynos chip in your $1,500 phone? Most people say no, and Samsung knows it. That's exactly why the Exynos 2600 exists. Let me explain. This isn't just another chip announcement. The Exynos 2600 is built on 2 to nanometer technology. Think of it like this. If your current phone chip is a regular car engine, this is a Formula One engine in the same space. Double the power, half the heat, better battery life. Samsung claims 39% better performance than last year. That's not an upgrade. That's a revolution. Now here's where it gets interesting. Drop a comment right now. Team Snapdragon or Team Exynos? Because what I'm about to tell you might change your answer. Samsung did something wild with the processor design. They completely killed off the traditional low power cores. Gone. Instead, you're getting one monster core at 3.8 gigahertz, three performance cores at 3.25, and six efficiency cores at 2.75. It's like having a team where everyone's a starter, no bench players. This means your phone stays fast even when you're running 10 apps at once. Gamers, this next part is for you. The Xclipse 960 GPU delivers double the graphics power and 50% better ray tracing. But here's the kicker. Samsung added AI-powered upscaling called ENSS. Your games run at lower resolution but look like ultra settings, and your battery doesn't die in two hours. It's basically black magic. But wait, there's something Samsung didn't put in the headline, and it's the most important feature of this entire chip. I'll reveal it in 30 seconds. But first, the AI story. The neural processor got a 113% performance boost. That's not a typo. What does that mean? for you. Your phone can run chat GPT level AI models without sending your data to the cloud. Your photos, your messages, your voice recordings stay on your device. Privacy just became a feature, not a promise. Comment below if privacy matters to you or if you think it's all just marketing hype. I'm genuinely curious what you think. The camera system supports 320 megapixel sensors. That's more resolution than most professional cameras. It shoots 8K at 30 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second with HDR. There's even a visual perception system that detects if someone's blinking in real time so you never miss the perfect shot. And for night videos, AI noise reduction makes your footage look like it was shot in daylight. Okay, here's the feature Samsung buried. Heat path block technology. This is huge. Every single Exynos chip for the past five years has had one massive problem, overheating. Your phone gets hot, performance drops, battery drains faster. Samsung says this new heat management system reduces thermal resistance by 16% using special materials. If this actually actually works in real life, it solves the only reason people avoid Exynos phones. Now let me say something controversial. I think Samsung should have abandoned Exynos years ago, but if this chip delivers on these promises, I might be completely wrong, and honestly, I hope I am. Comment right now. Should Samsung stick with Exynos or just use Snapdragon everywhere? I want to hear your honest opinion. Here's what matters. The Exynos 2600 is already in mass production. The Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus will likely use this chip in Europe, Asia, and other markets. Snapdragon versions will probably still exist for the US and China. So this isn't theoretical. This chip will be in millions of phones in a few months. The real question isn't whether this chip is impressive on paper. The question is, will it finally compete with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite, Apple's A18 Pro, and MediaTek's Dimensity 9500? Because if Samsung can't deliver this time, people will stop giving Exynos a chance. This is their last shot to prove they belong in the flagship conversation. But here's what nobody's talking about. Samsung didn't mention which modem this chip uses. That's suspicious. Past Exynos chips had slower connectivity compared to Snapdragon. If that's still the case, all these performance gains won't matter if your 5G speeds are slower. That's the detail we need to watch when reviews drop. So here's my challenge to you. Comment your prediction. Will the Exynos 2600 finally beat Snapdragon? Or is this just another impressive spec sheet that disappoints in real life? And if you're planning to buy a Galaxy S26, would you choose the Exynos? version or